Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys everything that I got for Christmas this year. First of all, I hope that you all had a wonderful holiday season. Um, I can't believe how quickly it came and went. Um, I definitely had a wonderful Christmas. I went up home to Canada to see my family. My mom, my dad, my grandmother, and my sister lives there. So I visited with them until Christmas Eve and then drove home so that I could be with my husband and his side of the family for Christmas Day. So I guess since I did my Canadian Christmas first, I will go ahead and show you what I got from my family. So from my parents, I got $50 to spend on whatever I want. And then for my sister, she was so super thoughtful and got me this perfume because it smells like my favorite candle. It smells like marshmallow fireside. So it's by a brand called Mason Margiela and it's uh, called Replica, but it's called by the fireplace. First of all, the bottle itself is so stinking pretty and the packaging looks like this and i just think it smells so so good i didn't like it at first actually the first time when i smelled it i felt like it kind of smelled like bacon well <laughs> me and my sister were shopping actually in sephora and she had me smell a rollerball of this and i told her that i thought that it smelled like bacon and she had already gotten it for me for christmas but now like after you spray it on and you let it settle on your skin it definitely has that beautiful like smoky vanilla-y gorgeous kind of a scent to it that marshmallow fireside has so i am very happy with this next you got me a uh, rosebud salve by smithes i'm very happy to have another one of these my old one got really nasty and um every time i would take the lid off it would kind of get everywhere so I'm very happy to have a new one of these and then she got me uh, this because she knows how much I love Disney and the nightmare before Christmas this is a stackable lip balm set um, the Jack Skellington one is pumpkin spice scented and the Sally one is um, peppermint candy corn scented and it just looks like that Mm, smells so good I'm definitely gonna put this onto my vanity because they're just so stinking cute next I'm gonna go over what I got from my in-laws so uh, Christmas Day they came over here and uh, spent Christmas with us at our house so that was really fun I never really got to fully host um, a Christmas Day celebration before so I was really excited about that so Every year uh, she does stockings, so she brought some stocking uh, stuffer uh, kind of items over here for each and every one of us, which I think was so sweet and thoughtful of her. So this was mine, and inside of it I got this little deer. Deer are my absolute favorite animal, so I collect anything deer related, and this is just a super cute little figurine with like a little bell on it. So um, I'm going to definitely add this to my deer collection. It is so, so cute. I also got these super warmers. Light sticks. I got this uh, package of notepads and they're magnetic. So I'm going to keep this on my fridge for making shopping lists. I got this really cute sleeping mask. It says love on it. I got dried bananas. I've never had uh, dried bananas before, so I'm intrigued to give these a try. I got chocolate lovers cake. This is instant cake. You just put it into the microwave in a cup and you have um, cake in less than a minute. I got a uh, peppermint marshmallow. Very excited to get into this. It looks almost too pretty to eat. She made uh, some dried fruit herself, so I'm excited to give these a try. And some dried fruit snacks, cashews, and then the last thing in here is gold coins. She always, always puts this into stockings every year. And then for my actual gifts from them, 
this uh, is the first thing that I opened. So I want a golden retriever puppy so, so badly. And she saw this in a store and she said that she thought of me and that I just had to have it. And I think it is so cute. I can't have an actual puppy yet um, because we live with my brother-in-law and he's terrible allergic to animals. So he doesn't want us to have any pets in uh, the house. So for now, I guess um, he's gonna be my pet. So I've been trying to think of something to name him. So if you have any ideas on what you think I should name him, definitely let me know in the comments below. Next thing she got me was a jar of marshmallow fireside. Are we surprised? No, we're not. I hope for one of these every single year and as many of them as possible because they only do come out in um, fall and winter, so they're completely gone for the rest of the year. It is my favorite, most favorite candle like ever. I can never have too many of these. Next thing she got me is the super cute pajama set again with the deer. Um, it's got this really cute deer on the front and it is so, so soft and warm. I get cold extremely easily, so I'm very happy with this. And then the PJ bottoms look like this with little snowflakes on it. And I like that it's got like the rolled up bottoms. I think that's really cute. And she also got me some slippers to go with the PJs. These are so, so soft and warm on the inside. I'm really happy with these. So the next thing she got me is this desktop calendar and it is a Thomas Kincaid Disney Collections one. Cover looks like that and it is just full of Thomas Kincaid Disney paintings. This one is a Winnie the Pooh page. This one. Bambi. It is just so, so pretty. And each page has uh, basically a week's worth of days on it. And it's got lots of space. So this is going to keep me so nice and organized. I definitely feel a lot more motivated when my tasks and everything that I need to do is all written down so that I can check mark things off. And it just makes me feel so much better to know that everything that I wrote down, I actually accomplished. The next thing she got me um, is really exciting. Uh, this movie I was obsessed with when I was a little kid. Me and my grandmother watched musicals all the time and this was one of my favorites. This is called Hello Dolly and it's on Blu-ray, which is so, so awesome. I have only ever seen this in VHS quality. So I already watched some of it this morning and it just looks so extremely stunningly beautiful and vibrant and colorful. It's got Barbara Streisand in it. It was filmed in 1969 and it is just so entertaining, so funny, and the songs are amazing in it. So if you've never seen this musical, um, I highly recommend it. This one, The Wizard of Oz and The Sound of Music are like my top three favorite musicals of all time. So the last thoughtful gift that um, me and Jack got from our in-laws is this wedding album and she even got some pictures printed for me to put in here from our wedding. We got married last year in September. So I am very, very happy with this. It is super pretty. And I already put some of our pictures in here. So cute. Okay, next, this is what I got from my brother-in-law. So he bought me Anne of Green Gables on Blu-ray. This is another one of my favorite movies. Anne of Green Gables is the first book that I had ever read in English. So it's a series of eight books and this is uh, the movie that they came out with I think in like 1985 and it is one of my favorite movies of all time. I was so obsessed with Anne of Green Gables back when I was a teenager. It's crazy and I used to watch this like every single day and I basically learned how to speak English because of watching this movie all the time and reading the book all the time. And he also got me the soundtrack. And the last thing he got me is uh, this book. It's called Iliad and Odyssey, and it's a Greek mythology book. 
So I used to have like the kids version of this when I was about like eight years old and my mom used to read me from it all the time, but I didn't realize it was like such a heavy duty, um, full on novel book. So I'm very excited to read this. I absolutely love Greek mythology. I always have. So yes. And I uh, also collect books that are leather bound like this. So I'm very happy to add this to my collection. So the person who spoiled me the most was definitely my husband. He got me so many nice things. So first thing he got me is uh, this cream, Brazilian Bum Bum Cream by uh, Sol de Janeiro. This stuff smells like vacation in a jar. It smells so incredible. If you don't know what this is, it's like a body firming cream. And they also make this in a lip balm and a body spray. And this cream just feels like you're putting heaven on your skin, honestly. It is infused with, um, Guarana extract and it says that it's a fast absorbing body cream and it helps to tighten and smooth like no other so that's why it's called a bum bum cream because you're supposed to put it you know on areas where you might have cellulite so that it helps to firm up your skin and make it look a lot nicer so um I'm gonna use this all over my body not just on my bum bum but I'm very excited about this Next thing he got me is this set of three long comb masks. Um, one of them is an exfoliating mask. This one is a hydrational mask. And then this one is a clay mask. So this is really good for cleaning out your pores. Very happy with this. I absolutely love long comb skincare. As you guys already know, it just works. He also got me two movies and he got me La La Land and A Christmas Carol. Christmas Carol, I've definitely wanted to add to my collection because it's become one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. Um, it is just the most beautiful Christmas movie I have ever seen. And then of course, La La Land because it's Ryan Gosling. Do we need another reason? No, not really. I saw this movie when it was in theaters like five times. It is just so, so good. Next up, he got me uh, this puzzle slash coloring book. It's called Ultimate Dot to Dot Animals. And it's basically just really big pictures that are full of numbers. It's kind of like color by numbers, but like instead of painting, you're using uh, colored pencils to do it. So I'm just gonna work on this in, uh, you know, my spare time. Sometimes if you watch a show or like a movie that doesn't require 100% of my attention, I like to kind of, you know, sit there and doodle. So I might work on this. I used to really enjoy these as a kid and he used to as well. So I just thought that this was such a thoughtful little extra gift that he got for me. He got me this super nice heavy duty blanket. It is so, so warm. Like I mentioned earlier, I get cold very easily and I just love wrapping myself up in a blanket when we're watching TV shows or movies. So I am so happy with this. Next, he got me uh, this calendar. It's the Thomas Kincaid uh, 2019 calendar. Uh, so it's basically the companion to uh, the desk calendar that his mom got for me. It is just absolutely stunning and magical. They release these every single year and every year the pictures are slightly different. Um, and every year I think they release like a new picture out of like the vault, if you will. Um, for example, this one I have never seen before, which is Dumbo. And I think the other new picture in here is this one the Cinderella picture. And what's so cool about these calendars is that every single picture has hidden characters in it. So I already found some of them um, earlier when I was looking at them. Let's see, which one did I find? Okay, so I don't know if you guys will be able to see this or not, but this is a Jungle Book uh, picture, right? 
So here at the very top, there's that little owl right there. That owl is from Sleeping Beauty. So they'll just put like little hidden characters inside every single picture that's from a different um, movie. Oh my gosh, and I just noticed another one. There's a Tinkerbell flying right over there. So of course Tinkerbell is not from the Jungle Book. And then the last thing that he got for me is this book. It's called A Star is Born, Judy Garland and the film that got away. I um, have been collecting Judy Garland books uh, since I was a teenager and this is the newest one that just came out. So this book was just written by Judy's daughter. Her name is Lorna Loft and it's basically just a book about how this movie was um, filmed. So I'm very excited to read about this. I absolutely love learning new information about Judy Garland because honestly she's my favorite favorite actress. So um, I don't know if you guys know this but A Star is Born that just came out with Lady Gaga in it is actually a remake of two other movies by that title. So uh, the first one was filmed in 1954 with Judy Garland and then the other one was filmed in uh, the 70s with Barbra Streisand in it. So that's pretty much all I know but now I'm going to know a lot more after reading this. So that's everything that I got for Christmas this year. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing this video. Please let me know in the comments below what you guys got for Christmas as well. So um, that about wraps it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on my future uploads. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye!